back, boys and girls, to the final challenge of Splash Games 2021. I'm Miss Alex. And I am Pastor Jonathan. You know, so far in the games, we have Grant as the winner of the Great Fish Race. What an epic that was. We have Miss Alexis as the four-time winner of the Well to Well Challenge. And we have Lauren as the winner of... Nothing. But that could all change today. Well, you know, the final game for our competitors is the big splash. Mm. So our competitors will jump off the side of the pool and whoever has the biggest splash wins. Mm -hmm. You know, this seems like the easiest game of all time, mm. but it's actually the hardest game ever. Big uh -huh. twist, because you know, you gotta get the form just right. You only have one chance. And if you don't get it just perfect, you could mess up everything. Oh, exactly. Now, hey, let's check in with Lauren, see how she's doing today. <laughs> Hey guys. Lauren, how are you feeling on the last day of the Splash Games with no wins to show for yourself? Yeah, Lauren, it's true. I mean, you haven't had like a single win. Yeah, absolutely no wins at all. Not not even one win. Uh-uh, no. None. Um, I mean, you don't have to keep rubbing it in. I know that I don't have any wins, but I've been practicing this jump every single day since the last Splash Games and I'm ready. Wow, that's 365 days of practice. I bet you do that in your sleep sometimes, huh? Well, I mean, I actually have um, a couple times in my neighbor's pool. Um, she was not very happy about that, but um, you know, I don't, I don't want that old injury to, to come back. My big toe is now fully recovered and, uh, and ready for this jump. Okay, see ya. You know, Pastor Jonathan, mm -hmm. today's sponsor mm -hmm. of the Big Splash is John the Baptist. That's right. Boys and girls, have you heard of John the Baptist? He was a pretty weird guy. Mm. Yeah, isn't he the one who wore camel hair and ate locusts and honey? Yep. Is that any good, locusts and honey? No idea. Oh. You want to try? Yeah, we we'll try. All right, well, here we go. Uh, let me help you. Thank you. Thank you. Just a little. All right, just a little honey there. Okay, you're gonna. There. Oh, you're gonna dip that in. One of these locusts yeah, they're here. They're still. They're still alive. So. Oh, zip right oh, there, oh, shaking okay. them bounce. Oh, we're be, going. Be we're going behind back. first here. Oh. Well. You know that is not as bad as you'd think. <laughs> Good, because I think it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's not about what John the Baptist ate, though, yeah. boys and girls. It's about what he did. Mm. You see, he was the one who helped Jesus himself. Dive in to new life. That's right, John the Baptist, he's the one who baptized Jesus. Oh, well, that is a big deal. Oh, it's a real big deal. It's a big deal for John, it's a big deal for Jesus, and it's a big deal for us because baptism is a big deal. And we're gonna say that together, boys and girls. Say it with me. Baptism is a big deal. Uh, Pastor Jonathan, sorry to interrupt, but <laughs> there's a shark in the pool! No! Ah! Ah! Lauren, Grant! That's no shark. That's Alexis! <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh. She she must have just been doing her final day a Splash Games prank. She does it every year. Mm -hmm. Good one, Alexis. Yeah, <laughs> next time maybe just do something a little less terrifying. <laughs> Where were we? John the Baptist, camel hair, I don't care. That's right. Boys and girls, John, he loved to baptize mm. people in the Jordan River. It was this amazing way to show on the outside what had happened in their hearts on the inside. See, we still do this today. We still baptize people when we want them to have a, an experience where they can show the whole world that they have put away their old life and they have walked and stepped into a new life with God. Even Jesus knew that it was important. And that's why he went to his cousin, John the Baptist, to be baptized. Wow, he picked Harry Bug Boy? He must have been so honored. Actually, he was terrified. Oh! Like that? Yeah, uh, thank you. <laughs> Boys and girls, John the Baptist was so nervous because he knew that Jesus was perfect. I mean, he was the son of God. He was the savior of the world. John was not worthy even to tie Jesus' sandals. But Jesus said, hey, enough of that. We are gonna do this. We are gonna dive in to new life 
because Jesus said, I want everyone to follow my lead. And as soon as I'm baptized, God is gonna fill me with the Holy Spirit, which is gonna stay in me even through death. Really? Oh yeah, really. See, boys and girls, the Bible says that when Jesus was on the cross and he had already died, there was a soldier that came with a spear to make sure that he had died and he pierced Jesus' side. And this is the crazy part. Water started gushing out of Jesus' side. Weird, right? But it's a really cool clue. A clue that living water was always on the inside of Jesus and it was gonna take him through death into new life because he didn't stay dead. Three days later, he came out of the grave to tell everybody the good news that he had defeated death for all time. And now that same new life that helped him defeat death could be in all of us. <gasps> this seems like a good time for us to go over our Bible table verse. Let's go. John 4, 14. But those who drink the water that I give them will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. You see, boys and girls, Jesus has new life for all of us. All we have to do is make a choice to let him in, to fill us up with that same new life that raised him from the dead. But it's a really big choice, and we all have to understand what it means. But when we do, baptism can be an amazing way to tell the whole world that there's new life in the inside of us. Mm. You know, John the Baptist was a Pretty cool guy. I'm thinking about taking on his style. What do you think? <laughs> I support you no matter what, Miss Alice. Oh my gosh, thank you. And it looks like the big splash is finally beginning and Grant is up first. Oh my goodness, he is wasting no time. Look how quickly he is running to the pool. Oh, oh ouch. Ah. Oh, belly flop. I do not think that is what he intended to do. <sighs> Miss Alex, the judges are saying not enough splash. Oh. It's safe to say Grant is out of this challenge. He has lost. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Oh, Alexis is up next. Oh, unlike Grant, she is taking her time up there. Oh, actually, she looks terrified. Now, you have to remember, Miss Alex, that Alexis is very scared of heights, oh. even small heights. Mm. Last year, she couldn't even jump into the pool. Oh, oh, terrible. Oh, oh, look. Oh, she's calming down. She's taking deep breaths. Okay. Is she going to do it? There she goes. And the jump. Oh, oh wow. amazing. Amazing. Oh. The judge is telling me that that was 10 feet high. What a splash. This is going to be tough to beat that. Yes, yes, that will be very tough to beat. Now, do you think that Lauren, who has no wins. Mm, absolutely no wins at all. I'm talking not a single one. Mm -mm -mm. Will she have what it takes? Will she reach new heights? Oh, 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 wow. It looks like she's dancing up there. That is beautiful. She's really preparing the way for something special. Oh, here comes the jump. Oh, it's a spin jump. Will she make it? Oh, well, yeah. I'd say she did. I, wow, oh, oh, hey, word from the judges. That, that was 50 feet high. Oh my, God. Wow. I, no, no, I'm, I'm getting word right now that that is a new world record for the biggest splash ever in the Big Splash Challenge. I think it's safe to say she's won. Oh, wow, way to go, Lauren. Lauren, you did it! Congratulations. How does it feel to win the Splash Games? It feels amazing. Definitely different from last year's Splash Games. Coming out of the water, I feel brand new. Oh, well, we love to hear it. All right, well, enjoy that win today, and we'll talk to you soon. Miss Alex, would you get the big idea with me one more time? Oh, absolutely. All right, boys and girls, we need you to. So on your feet, on, on your feet, on your feet. On, on your feet. I just wrote that song. It's called the On Your Feet song. That's it's for amazing. them to get on their feet. All right, here we go. Big idea on the count of three. One, two, three. Dive, Dive in, in to <laughs> new life. <laughs> that was great. Hey, Miss Alex, what do you think? One more splash? Oh, of course. All right, let's do it together. Okay. One. A two, three. <laughs> A goodbye now.